Hello, this is the Wato, and welcome to Cowboy Space Program. Today, I'm gonna be trying out some of the just kind of stock, stock stuff because I'm sick of putting my own stuff. I'm terrible at it. Yay! I'm all right, but we do it a little bit. Right, so I've actually I've driven in most of these before. This is this little rover. So you put this on top of a rocket, so it's like, um, I what it's called in this game, but on um, Mars in real life. Or even Moon. Okay. Put some of these engines to. See. So if you get it up into the air, we'll kind of drop it down on the moon, because you don't actually need that much in terms of fuel. Obviously, it will run through it incredibly quickly. We're down here going to do a suicide burn. Well, not really, but you know. Quick burn, mostly at the end. No. No, please. Yes. So this could is a very realistic stock kind of rover. Like that. And then I'm going to try and actually launch in something. So, I've not tried this one before. It seems very small, very basic. Let's try. Your computer, shut up, though. Put forward a little bit. Yeah. Right. Throw it up. We go. Move away, turn away from the launch pad a little bit, and turn straight back up again. So in real life, they'd do that so the debris wouldn't land on there, or you could start kind of getting an orbit here, getting the, the right position for an orbit. But I'm not that that good at anything, so. Interesting, I think they use, well they use these, I don't use the fuel canards or the the winglets, but like the full thing moves. You know what I mean. So you can very, very basic though. I'll have to build this at the top or we go with something mad at the bottom, rather than something quite simple. It's kind of more realistic in the sense you could have something bringing up something to the space station. I've already got something up here. I'll show you that once you've got this in orbit. Try and push through the atmosphere, let's just kind of cut the engine. I mean, we're still in the upper upper parts of the atmosphere but you know is that too close? that seems very very close there we go it's alright actually I don't go for very pretty orbits does this thing not have any reaction wheels? Uh, seems like it does some If I ditch that, can I? Are you gonna turn for me? There we go. I don't think this thing has any sort of SAS module on it. So which way is pull up? Okay, let's roll it over then. Uh, do you not roll? Okay, fine. To go from here then. Close the email to get it. Let's turn that off. Oh, he just annoys me. Okay, maybe I do need it actually. This thing does not seem very good. Don't. 
There's two cores, is there? Why is there two in here? None of my got control wheels. Stupid. I've half enough engine to blast it out. Then it'll could get it. I've got an iron space for before, just on mainly boosters um, to the sun. You just fly it out, and it just goes. Okay. Then. Actually, can I make this orbit? Look how tiny and insignificant we are. So slow. What are you doing? I got fuel, are you? Oh, great. It's brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant craft. I call that rubbish. Seriously. Nearly impossible to get something like that in orbit unless you're good. I not and frame rate is not working because I have none. Um, I did that and that was rubbish. Let's just delete that. Yes. Kerbal X and five. Sorry. So I've tested before and it worked. Why am I only getting fifteen FPS? I'm recording this at seventy years old. Well, you're just pooping itself. Seven twenty p. Okay, fine. Don't know why that happens sometimes. I think that's a waste fuel just sitting there burning a little bit. There we go. Now it looks like to me it's supposed to land on the moon and come back again, so let's try that. Quite neat to start doing it. And refuel the next one completely when it does that, which is kind of weird. Or kind of the user's one, and then yeah, I get it. Just there was a main cell, okay. Could have been a skipper. That's a serious speed here. A drogue shoot, no, good. What is that? Was stupid to put it there. Okay then. Let that go. Now we're burning all of this. Now this thing is only one friend. Why do they not? If this has much control wheel, it's going to turn like slower than life. That sentence just made sense. You just don't get my awesomeness. Up there, have we got any lights? No, okay. Pretty basic, really. That's high enough. Maybe. Get the general kind of orbit and just time accelerating so they get the right point. Oh, wow. So you get the right point to intercept the moon and try to. I'm going to do is I'm going to come back after I have this thing in orbit and near the moon hopefully. Bye! So this thing is not quite in orbit with this little poodle engine. Got to go at the last 30 seconds. Reset this stupid camera. Can I... There we go. That's nearly enough, maybe. I don't know, it's not actually been where it's supposed to be at all. It's just messed up. So only has the reaction control wheels. No, it's supposed to be maneuver mode. What are you doing? I'm actually burning through the atmosphere, which is nice, isn't it? Get rid of that. Come on, get off it. Fine. Ah, uh, terrible at this, you haven't guessed. I haven't noticed, sorry. Now I'm spinning around through the atmosphere with my pet rocket on a fuel tank. Giving up. Bob's giving up. Ah, explosions! 
Yay. Not fun at all. Right. My solution's alright, you know, but... Meh. Now this thing is... This is pretty cool, I think. Slow zoom in. Um, it's electricity and Kion gas or Kion gas powered. Start to say it. But if it does exist in real life, that's pretty cool. But this engine is way too weak to do anything. It's point one kilonewton of thrust. You got to build your own launcher. Like a lot of things, actually. Let's go on to planes. Let's start with actually one of my favourite planes that gotta mostly come stock, but you can upgrade and make it even cooler. Now this thing, okay. No, it's quite good. Read this out. The A's, Ares, yeah, Ares three A's is small and, and nimble, one seater plane, mostly used for training craft for fixed wing flight and to annoy ground stuff by buzzing around the facilities. Now it's got the Weasel engine on the back. I'd trade out for a Raper engine, you have to put satellite or uh, not satellite what? Um solar panels on there because the rapier doesn't create electricity. This does but a whiplash is kinda too long, even the rapier's too long, even this will smack its bum on the ground. But you can get quite good speed with it, even with this engine, and it's, it's very maneuverable, especially when you get a more powerful engine on there and it goes faster. Once you want to land quickly anywhere, well, not anywhere, but you know what I mean. You want to land quickly, pull around like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, it bounced a little bit. See? In the end, you kind of came off a little bit, but stop. That's how cool this thing is, mate. Right, so now, take this off, bruv. Uh, stick on this. It's a very, very big engine, and I don't think you'll take off with these little wheels. So, we we'll have to go here and go get. No, go away. These dudes are pretty big. Not sure an angle. Kind of going to annoy me. And then pump the braking power up all the way. No, you bum face. My graphics look terrible. It's maybe because I've turned the game down, otherwise it would get even worse. So FPS since I have some mods can kind of ruin the FPS, including BD Army, which I'm going to play with in the next episode. Carol's best program. Yeah, go with Space Program. I can speak English, but I have a lisp. Obviously, it's a rapier engine. You wouldn't really need to change your landing gear. And you'd put the fixed solar panels on there, or the um, what are they called now? But they create electricity just from sitting there. It's dark. Thermostatic or something. Don't know what. This thing is gonna go like the clappers now, hopefully. Oh, eighty hundred. Oh, god. All over. Ooh, even in a situation like that, it might be good to open the landing gear, it can save you. Go for a speed run. The rapier has worse level performance, it obviously can do the rocket engine mode. But this, this has the more low end, but also quite a good high end performance, and is more efficient, or is that? The rapier engine is going to burn through it a bit more, but it does have a high top speed. They can get about 3.8 or something, and this is thrust. But the Mark II engine that's not actually stock can get about 1,500 kilos of thrust at like high speed, high altitude. 
and it is awesome. But it works on the Mark II things. Yeah, pull up a little bit. That killed a lot of my speed. Not a lot, but you know what I mean. There we go. I think this is like the speed of sound now. Right, so you've got like 900 meters per second, and wow, it actually broke. I not expect that. Like, I've never broken it before. That much speed to break it. Right, let's slow down the engines. What, I get like 900 meters per second? Yeah, let's Google that on my phone. Right, so 900. Okay, dead. Meters per second. Um, two miles per hour. Right, that's meters per second to miles per hour. Come on, come on, Billy. Right, so meet per second, we need to put in 900, that is about uh, 2013 miles per hour, and then miles per hour to speed of sound, so what's that, 20,000 like miles per hour, and 13, there we go, about, that's about 2.6 times speed of sound this one, this thing just went. That's pretty cool, beans. Lord, all people say that. Now that's quite interesting. Strato launcher. Strato launcher. I've not actually got that to work yet. I've not actually got this to work. This is pretty cool. But I'm not going to look over it yet because I'm lolled. Lol. 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 Hilarious. Oh, so tired. Yeah. It's a seaplane. It's a seaplane. Hey, sorry, pardon me. Get off the ground. It's like it's still speed five on when you have the Panther engine. It's always put it in wet mode. Basically, just increases that fuel going in. Probably uses less air, but it gives you way more thrust. But there's way more fuel, so let's do this. Not put landing gear down and slow this thing down. That sweet maneuver. I do, do have a joystick, but I don't think it's not to want to work with Kerbal Space Program very well. When you land on water, whether you're designed to or you just you're stalling it, obviously you want to lift, lift the nose up. Come on, give me this speed, mate. Oh, bro, that's not how you do it. Obviously, I survived, but that's not a very effective way. On that bombshell, ha, top gear is dead to me. Not really, but you know. I'll see how it goes. Well, see what you do. See, sorry. See you guys in the next video of Kerbal Space Program. All the games. Who knows? I'm very weird. Bye!